Yesterday, we've had this multiple year long idea within Call of Duty kind of crushed. For those that like remasters, COD 4, Modern Warfare Remastered, Modern Warfare 2 Campaign Remastered, this kind of follows that similar pattern. As yesterday, Modern Warfare 3 was in news here for the confirmation that it wasn't going to be happening, despite all things we've heard in the past seemingly pointing the other way. So what happened with that? Why is the reasoning here? Is this the true final end for Modern Warfare 3 Campaign Remastered? We're going to dive into all of that here today and a little more. So as we go along, let me know your thoughts down below. Were you guys hoping to see a Modern Warfare 3 Remastered, whether that be campaign or multiplayer? Let me know your thoughts down below. But as well, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's aim for a thousand likes here on this. Both doing that and commenting helps the video out greatly in the algorithm and of course is greatly appreciated. And finally, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing all things Call of Duty, whether that be talking about remasters like this, Warzone, Modern Warfare, Cold War, and anything Season 5 related as we gear up for that here in the next week. If you're interested, hit that subscribe button. That's it. Let's jump right into the discussion at hand. So here's the thing. I mean, Modern Warfare 3 campaign remastered, at the very least, has been rumored to be coming out for as long as we can remember, at least since last year and the remaster of Modern Warfare 2's campaign, especially given that that was the follow-up to COD 4's Modern Warfare remastered back in 2016, paired with Infinite Warfare. Although we can go all the way back to at that point when everybody was like, okay, there's no way they don't remaster Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. But recent speculation has kind of been all built on speculation with industry insiders and leakers talking about the prospect of the project. The most notable discussion of this likely came from the Modern Warfare 2 Ghost, where he had tweeted a couple of things over the course of the last couple of months, but mainly saying that he was told that Modern Warfare 3 campaign remastered was definitely coming this year and should be coming Q2, which was the original plan with one month exclusivity to PlayStation, following up by saying that he worded it a bit weird, so it was originally set for Q2 of this year under the deal of PlayStation, but not sure if that's still the case, but apparently is still coming at some point during the year. Then, of course, we had all this discussion recently about how it could be something tethered to a pre-order for COD Vanguard and things like that, but as of yesterday, that rumor is seemingly dead in the water, with the initial report of all of this coming from Charlie Intel, in which they stated an Activision spokesperson told them a remaster of Modern Warfare 3 campaign or multiplayer does not exist. Any reports otherwise are incorrect. And to me, that is absolutely just wild to hear. Not only just given the fact that the last couple of years we've had these remasters for Modern Warfare, the original COD 4 and Modern Warfare 2, but the fact that that is leaving money on the table and big money on the table. And for a company like Activision that has in the past previously eaten up any opportunity to make a buck, that doesn't make any sense to me. Not to mention, though, that there's also the idea that that Modern Warfare trilogy has been since rumored since 2016, like we said at the beginning of the video. But even more so that Modern Warfare 2's campaign remaster had a showcase of the remastered collection in the museum post-campaign sort of playground, if you want to call it that, hinting at and indicating that we might likely see a Modern Warfare 3 campaign remaster to cap it all off. But, I mean, that's not a guarantee, sure, but it's definitely interesting. And there really is no direction other than just what we have here with this. But to me, what I think is the craziest part here is that Activision never talks about rumors. They never feed that fire or fuel that fire. And especially when it's entirely out of the blue like this. I mean, this rumor has been going on for years now at this point, but why talk about it right now? Now, of course, when you just drop something this massive, there's gonna be theories, and there's quite a few of them. I've seen a couple of them that actually, I think, do hold some maybe weight to them and make some logical sense. A lot of people, though, have been speculating recently that Modern Warfare 3 Campaign Remastered will be something that comes tethered with or in some way relating to COD Vanguard, COD 2021 here coming later this fall. The sort of in the pocket makeup revenues theory here. That's something that's been talked about for as long as these rumors of COD World War II Vanguard have been happening. Because, well, I'm sure you've seen it. I'm sure you probably feel it as well. The hype and anticipation of another World War II game isn't quite there as opposed to, say, Modern Warfare 2019 or something like that. So to be able to release something in tandem with that would definitely make up some revenues. You put it with one of the game bundles and you make up some extra revenue with that. But the theory is that because this has been on record as not happening, 
maybe it's not needed. Maybe they're confident in their game in that regard, and it can stand on its own two feet. Now, I'm an incredibly optimistic person, but to be honest with you, I don't know if I would have expected this one to happen to begin with. Maybe it's something indicative of the strength of Vanguard. I would love to say that's the case, but realistically, I don't think they're necessarily related. Another theory is that Modern Warfare 3 Campaign Remastered could be coming with Modern Warfare 2 in 2021, that right now it's kind of shelved indefinitely, but is a campaign bonus here to increase immediate sales on Modern Warfare, air quote, 2, whenever that happens as of next year, the sequel to Modern Warfare 2019. Multiplayer, though, if Modern Warfare 2 Campaign Remastered is any indication, I can't say that that's really going to happen, but a lot of people with this theory speculate that maybe it's all-inclusive within Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2 in 2022, where you have a bunch of maps that fill out that initial offering for a Modern Warfare multiplayer from the original Modern Warfare 2 and the original Modern Warfare 3, kind of bringing those remake maps back up, but really strengthening the initial offering that multiplayer would have. I think that would be kind of cool. We saw some remakes here with Modern Warfare last year, but at the same time, they were kind of in place of original maps. I would love for them to bring up old maps, but still have new maps. And maybe if that's the case, they could get us back to that previous generation of COD where we have 15 to 25 maps shipping as opposed to, what, the nine or so that we had with Black Ops Cold War? Another theory is this is just a distraction and it will come soon here. A lot of people are seemingly quoting Joe Secott's interview talking about how they wouldn't have Battle Royale within Modern Warfare, but that eventually came. But the unfortunate part with that theory is that that's actually not the case. Joe mentioned that they were focused on multiplayer at launch, but they dodged the question entirely to provide a non-answer that did both not confirming anything nor denying the existence of a Battle Royale mode in the future. So this one was just a flat out denial of it different scenario but to me perhaps the most likely answer here is that this lines up with the recent reporting of the sony and activision contract being broken where it was reported that the contract for remasters was no longer needed with us talking about this a couple of weeks ago on the channel where the modern warfare 2 ghost ended up saying he got a report that activision has broken contract with sony pertaining to the modern warfare 3 campaign remaster where he then followed up saying it essentially means they could just bundle it with cod 2021 have it release on both platforms at once whatever the case may be with that but if that actually broke contract, then in theory, that also doesn't mean that it has to happen at all, which is being reiterated by this Activision spokesperson. So whereas we kind of thought this would mean more freedom to it, that also could mean that it just doesn't actually happen. And truthfully, with the introduction of SOAP, that actually may make sense here, that this could have been something that, like we've talked about in the past, was tethered to that purchase of the campaign remaster for Modern Warfare 3, like how we saw that Ghost UDT skin tethered to the Modern Warfare 2 campaign remaster. With that being released, that could have, of course, been that sort of last straw to break the camel's back that there's nothing to release it with. That that was the kind of last real remnant of hope of this maybe coming. But I don't know, this whole thing is just incredibly weird. So, of course, the more depressing of theories and possible outcomes, but it's definitely interesting. I mean, by all indications, up until this point, it seemed like it was real. We had industry insiders not even just talking about this happening, but since COD 4 Remastered saying that it was being worked on and it was going to be something coming, but we never saw it, and now it's seemingly shelved indefinitely until maybe it's truly needed, perhaps, or it's actually genuinely just entirely canned. Though, the only thing that comes out of this that is for sure is that this is incredibly weird because within the last week, we've seen denials of the next-gen update for Warzone and Modern Warfare 3 Campaign Remastered, and Activision doesn't ever talk about rumors or speculation like we mentioned because partly they don't want to lend any weight to those rumors, say something that could be misinterpreted, inadvertently confirm or deny something that they didn't mean to touch on, or any of those things, and partly because, well, they don't have to. But we've seen more comments on speculated or rumored items this past week than we've seen in the past few years, if I remember correctly. So my mind almost now turns to, well, why is this happening? What's the real reason for breaking all of those personal rules and talking about things like this? Like, are we missing something? But regardless, right now, it seems like Modern Warfare 3 campaign remaster, multiplayer remastered is dead in the water, unfortunately. I'd love to play it again on next generation, on PC, whatever the case may be. I thought that Beanox did a phenomenal job at remastering Modern Warfare 2, using that Modern Warfare remastered sort of engine that we had going along with that. Felt fluid, felt great, 
but unfortunately we won't see that for the foreseeable future with Modern Warfare 3 campaign or multiplayer. So that's where we're going to wrap it up. But before we do, I want to take a second and talk to you guys, my friends over at Gamer Advantage and your vision health. I've said it many times. I'll say it again. I genuinely think that if there's a partner that I've worked with that's helped me day to day the most, it's definitely them. Gamer Advantage is a company that specializes in blue light glasses. And as someone whose job it is for them to look at monitors for 10 to 12 hours a day, I've felt the effects of blue light over the years. And I've seen what it's done to my sleeping patterns, levels of eye strain and more. I've used blue light glasses for years now, but none of them even come close to Gamer Advantage pairs that I have. Normally, blue light glasses just toss in a yellow lens to combat that blue by canceling it out, which, sure, while effective, also leaves whatever you look at with this ugly yellow hue. That was a huge game changer for me with Gamer Advantage. That was the first thing that I really drew to love them for, is that what you look at before you put on the glasses is exactly how you'll see it after having them on. No visual distortion or color distortion whatsoever. Gamer Advantage glasses are comfortable yet durable and also prescription compatible. And if you want to go a step further, they even make multivitamins specifically designed for your vision health called eye candy. So if you're even remotely like me, gaming on the PC or just even looking at your phone for prolonged amounts of times, and if you'd like to learn more, head on over to the link in the description below below to check out their stuff. And if you decide to pick up anything, use code ESPRESSO to get 10% off your entire order. But anyways, like we said, that's where we're going to wrap it up. I would love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. Do you guys hope to see Modern Warfare 3 campaign remastered at some point here in the future? Are you glad that this is sort of now off the table? Whatever the case may be, feel free to let me know your thoughts down below. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss learning all things Warzone, Cold War, Modern Warfare, especially as we round up to Season 5 here. We got a lot to talk about and a whole lot of stuff coming on the other side of the launch. So that said, if you're interested, hit that subscribe button. If you also want to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, those are the best places to get carried outside of YouTube. Probably live on both those. If you guys want to start a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, that link is down there in the description below. That said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.